Hello and welcome to another video by The Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to migrate a Nest account over to a Google account. There are a few reasons why someone would want to consider migrating their Nest account over to Google. The first major reason is the soon to be released new Nest Aware subscription model. In the US, pricing for multiple cameras will drop significantly, especially as you add on more cameras. Right now, the cost is $50 a year for 5 days of 24x7 recording for one camera, $100 a year for 10 days of 24x7 recording, and $300 a year for 30 days of 24x7 recording. In addition, you can add on additional cameras for a reduced cost. For example, each additional camera with 5 days of 24x7 recording will be an additional cost of $30 per year. The new model includes two options, Nest Aware and Nest Aware Plus. Both plans include camera features like intelligent alerts, sound detection, emergency calling, and both plans will cover all of your cameras associated with your account. The Nest Aware subscription also includes 30 days of event-based video history, while Nest Aware Plus provides storage for 60 days worth of event video history and 10 days of 24x7 video recording. The biggest winners in this new subscription model are going to be those that have 4 or more cameras on their account, or someone who wants more than 10 days of video recording with 2 or more cameras. Another reason someone would want to consider migrating their Nest account is if they purchased a Google Nest Hub Max and want to use it as a Nest camera. In order to set up the Google Nest Hub Max as a Nest camera, you have to add it to a Google account and not a legacy Nest account. There are two major drawbacks for migrating your Nest account. The first is the loss of the ability to use any currently set up Works with Nest integrations. As part of the migration process, you actually have to disconnect your Works with Nest integrations and you will not be able to re-add them later. An example of an integration would be If This Then That. Google claims they are working with third-party services to go through the Works with Google platform to allow for integrations, so that will be something you need to consider before making the switch. If you aren't sure if you have any Works with Nest integrations set up currently, I will be going over how to find out exactly that later in this video. Another drawback is how camera sharing works for Google. With a legacy Nest account, you are able to share access to just cameras without providing access to your whole smart home or devices tied into Google Home. After you migrate, you have to add people as family members, which does not provide any control around what they can or can't do. Someone added as a family member can remove devices and other people including you. So if you share cameras today, you'll want to make sure that you trust whoever you share them with enough to be added as a family member on Google Home. Before getting into the migration itself, I highly encourage backing up and downloading a copy of all of your data that Nest has for your account, or at least downloading any saved Nest clips on your account. While I'm not aware of anyone losing the data for migrating, it's a good practice to do whenever possible. To back up data, you will need to be logged into your Nest account and go to the data request page, which I will have a link for in the description below. From here, click on the blue button that says request my data. From here, enable the options for all your Nest data and your Nest video history. Next, hover over the number under your Nest video history to change how far back you want your video history to go for download. You can select up to 30 days. After you have the length of time set, click on Create Archive. You'll get a confirmation screen saying that the request was received, and you will have a link where you can check on the status of your request. Depending on the amount of cameras you have, this request can take several hours to fulfill. You will receive an email once your archive is ready. To download it, you'll need to return to the request page. From here, click on the download for the archive you requested. A pop-up will appear with a list of multiple files that you can click on to download. Depending on the length of your requested video history, the number of cameras you have on your account, and the recording quality set in your cameras, you can end up with a very large number of files. As you can see in the folder structure, there are a number of different things that are included with the data including Nest Protect information, if you have them, geofence information, notifications, camera, and a few other bits of information. To find all of your saved clips, open the first zip folder and navigate down until you get to multiple folders. From here, click on Camera, and then select Clips. In this folder, you will find all of the thumbnails and clip files you have saved. As you can see, they're not named in a very friendly manner, so you will have to go through them to figure out what is what. If you don't want all of your Nest data, but instead just want your saved clips, all you have to do is go to your Nest account and click on My Nest Home, which will bring you to the main Nest page, with all of your cameras. From here, click on your icon on the right-hand corner and click on Video Clips. On the screen that opens, you can click on any of the video clips you want to download, and then click on the gray download icon next to Delete. Unfortunately, you are not able to select multiple items to download, so you'll have to go through each one individually. Now that we have all of our data backed up, we can start the migration. To do this, you'll need your mobile device with the Nest app open. First, let's make sure we won't miss any Works with Nest functionality that will break from this migration. 
To do this, click on the cog in the right hand corner and scroll down until you see the works with nest section and click on it. Here you will see any connections that currently have access to your nest. If you have any, I highly recommend making sure they are part of the works with Google program or that you are okay to never have that access again. Once you're all set, you can go back to the main settings menu. From here, scroll to the top and click on migrate to a Google account. The first screen will give you a few reasons why Google thinks you should migrate. Click on continue with Google. Next, you will need to log into your Google account, which will be used for all of your Nest devices moving forward. You will need to allow Nest to access your Google account, which seems a bit odd since it's the same company. Next will be to disconnect your works with Nest connections. You can still change your mind about migrating by clicking the X at the top. Clicking next will bring us to a page to list any connections that will be lost. This is really the last chance to change your mind, so make sure you really want to migrate your account before clicking OK. After that will be to combine your home from your Nest account with your home in Google. You will be able to select which Google Home you want to merge. If you have home members already in your Google Home, you can select them here to be provided access to the devices from Nest including Nest X Yale Locks or Nest Secure. They will receive a new passcode which can be changed after, but do keep in mind that it will be changed from the migration. When you have everyone selected that you want, click on Next. The next page will go over how access to your cameras will change. As I mentioned earlier, in order to provide access to your Nest cameras with a Google account, a user must be part of your Google Home. This will allow them to add or remove devices and other users including yourself. You'll want to make sure to fully read through all of the screen before continuing. After, you'll be provided a verification page to make sure your new home and home members are correct. Once you are sure they are correct, scroll down and click on Continue. Next will be to review the privacy and terms of use agreement. Even though no one ever does, you really should take the time to read through it. This explains what and how Google collects data about you, what they claim to do with it, and who and how they plan on sharing that data. You must scroll to the bottom to be able to click on continue. After that, you'll be brought to the final chance to back out of the migration. When ready, click on complete migration. The next screen allows for email notifications of things like Google Store promotions or new hardware being released. Select what you want and click on Next. And that's it! We've successfully backed up our Nest data and migrated our Nest account over to Google, allowing for a single logon account between Google Home and Nest. This will also link your Nest cameras into the Google Home app if you didn't already do that. You won't get notifications and you can't change settings from the Google Home app, so you will need to keep the Nest app on your phone. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. And if you want to be one of the first to know when I release new videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications. Thank you for watching.